In this segment, we are going to learn how to insert a table in a document and how to modify that table in a document in Microsoft Word. So we go here to any place in the document and we go under the Insert tab and then choose Table. If you click on the drop down here, you notice that you can draw a table, pick how many columns and rows you want, or you can draw it from here, or use an Excel spreadsheet or use quick tables very similar to this for calendars or things of that nature. In our case, we are simply going to select how many columns and rows we want. So let's say I want three columns and two rows. Notice as soon as I select it, it's entered in the document. Now I can resize those columns as needed. And also notice on the top, we have the table design tools. If uh, that gives us the various styles related to tables and tools related to tables. Notice also that next to table design tools is also the layout tab that gives us another set of tools related to working with tables. Now, if those tools for some reason do not show up for you, you may need to click out, click somewhere else in the document, and then click back on the tools or double click on your table, and then you should be able to see those table tools on the top. So next, you typically enter the information in each cell. Now, in the cases where you need to add additional columns or, or rows to your table, you can simply right click and choose insert and then choose insert rows below. And this is how you add additional rows. Now, for these table tools, as you can see here, notice that you have options also such as the total row. So you can click on total row here and if I add another cell or another row below, now at this stage, if I go here under the Layout tab and go under Formula, I could add a formula to give me the sum of all the cells above this. And I click OK. All I have to do is click OK, and it will give me the total for those numbers. Now at this stage, let's suppose that we want to make this table look better or more professional. We go under the Table Design Tools and then pick one of the designs from here. If you click on the down arrow under the Table Styles, we can select from one of the styles here. To add and make additional modifications, I would suggest that you check out these other options. And notice that uh, also you have these tools for adding rows and columns below. Also, another key concept to remember here is, the, and sometimes it gets tricky, is how the text is going to be indented in that specific cell. So right now, notice for a firewall device, it's at the top of the cell. Let's say we wanted that centered. You go here under the Layout tool and you choose from one of those the Alignment area. This is where you can define for that to be centered or if you want it to right side or left side but yet centered, that's where you change this. Obviously you can change also the text direction and additional components here as you can see as well.